When you look up at the night sky, you can't help but wonder what's out there. To help answer that question, we can now turn to a UBC student who recently made a discovery that really is out of this world. So these are all the planets compared to the solar system. This is not the work of NASA. They're the findings of Michelle Kunamoto. My discovery was 17 new exoplanet candidates. When liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler. The UBC physics and astronomy student examined the images recorded by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope while it was in orbit from 2009 to 2018. She combed through 200,000 stars to find the 17 new planets. So I used a method known as the transit method. Uh, the basic idea behind this is that as a planet is orbiting around a star, it'll block a portion of that star's light and an astronomer on Earth would be able to observe the star and see these kind of temporary decreases in the brightness of that star. And that gives you a really good indication that what you found is a planet actually orbiting around the star uh, periodically. The planets Kunamoto found are thousands of light years away. We're not getting there anytime soon. <laughs> but one of them is particularly interesting because it has characteristics similar to Earth one rocky planet that is potentially in the habitable zone as well. Uh, so this is compared to only 15 small confirmed habitable zone planets that Kepler has found overall. Finding a planet capable of sustaining life, quite the achievement for someone who first took interest in space while watching Star Trek. Beam me aboard. Energize. Kunamoto's work is now published in the esteemed astronomical journal. The grad student hopes to one day work with NASA if the stars align really found a passion with exoplanet hunting and just exoplanets in general. So whether that involves academia or more research focus, I think what I, whatever I want to do in the future is going to involve exoplanets in some capacity. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.